All right, next week the Nickel Plate Arts Campus is preparing for the 10th annual Welcome to Fairyville event. All ages can participate in the Fairy Home Show with, with handcrafted fairy houses. Joining me live in studio this morning is Ailey McGill, an artist for the event. Good morning to you. Thanks for Good being morning. here. Thank you so much for having us. We're so excited. Absolutely, and I want to take a look <laughs> at our wings that we have on here. We're looking at these beautiful photos mm -hmm. as well. But once we come out to camera here, you can see our wings. We're all dressed up. Oh, I got to get back. Yeah, yeah. There we go. In shot. Tell me a little bit about Fairyville. This is wonderful. Yeah, so um, people may not know, but Noblesville is home to a huge magical population. What? And um, every year we have a housing crisis. So uh, <laughs> we ask for fairy architects from all over the state to come together and make fairy homes for us, which oh. we display on a trail all through downtown Noblesville. So uh, this year we're going to have over 30. We may already be up to 40 houses. Um, that you can look at really? on this trail and then we pepper this trail with all sorts of fun and surprises. Oh. You will get to meet real life fairies of all different professions too. I have to say I know we have a fairy godmother coming this year. Big um, news. Uh, and we have we have uh, crafts, we have tea parties, we have um, uh, also some fun things for adults. So on Friday night this year there we're gonna have some uh, fire performers who are gonna do acrobatics and dance wow. with fire and a body painter and even some <coughs> adult beverages for those grown-up fairies, if need be. For the grown-up so, fairies. Right, exactly, yes. yes. Um, and lots, and just endless fun for kids, too. It's a oh. great time for families to come together. Um, I have to say my favorite thing is when I see grandpa fairies walking along oh. with their little, their little fairy oh, girls. Oh, um, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I can already imagine how just amazing that is, how cute. And I love how it's just so magical. And I, it just really takes you there. And just, everyone can have fun, a yeah, family fun thing. event. And, and it's, it can be really self-directed, so you guys can spend as long or as little as you want. Yes. Um, all, uh, several of the restaurants in town are going to have uh, deals. Yes. Texi Mexi is making fairy wand churros just for this. Love um, it. And so you really can spend your entire day with us. Um, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we'll have uh, crafts in the afternoon, okay. and then Friday night and Saturday, just activities all day long. And it's all on our website, which is yeah. Nickel Plate Arts. Yes, jam-packed with events. Okay, now tell us a little bit about your history with, as an artist and yeah. how you're involved with it. So I'm also the executive director of Nickel Plate Arts, but okay. um, uh, once a year I get to pull out my wings. It, it was a top I love secret the wings. until I took this job. I love the wings. Um, so uh, I'm an illustrator. Um, I work primarily with uh, children's art, so this is a really fun event for oh. me as well. But I, I always make wings. I always make lots of decorations for the trail. And then we'll have dozens of other artists as well who are bringing um, their products together. Yes. Face painting is a so big much fun. deal. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I'm all about this video and these photos mm -hmm. we're showing. Just looks like such a blast. And thank you for letting me wear a pair of wings, of too, course. while we're here. I want to talk about an application deadline today mm -hmm. that we need to stress. Tell yep. us about so, it. So um, you, you, there is still time to join the Fairy House Contest. You can sign up today. Mm -hmm. um, you just go to our website and fill out the application. You just have to have your house ready to drop off on Monday. Okay. And, you know, it'd be a great Easter activity to make a family fairy house out exactly. of uh, all your leftover Easter basket stuff. I was going to say, all the colorful things. You get the markers, the glue out make mm -hmm. a little house. I mean, how special is this? And real quick before we go, just your favorite part. Like you mentioned oh. the grandpa's yeah, the grandpa yeah. fairies. So but that's pretty fantastic. But I'll got, I got to say, when you watch families walk along and find each of these houses, uh -huh. because it's a big, long trail, and so looking for these tiny fairy houses oh. along the way, the discovery, the self-expression, um, how many costumes we get. Oh. We get boys and girls, you know, all ages, all dressed up the whole time. Thank you so much for coming and sharing this with us and letting me, again, wear the wig. Yeah. I just can't. I'm going to wear this the rest of the show. No, you I should, don't think I can do that. But it would be great. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. And we'll, of course, place more information on how to apply, attend uh, for Fairyville on our website, fox59.com. We'll be right back. Thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs>